Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. So in this tutorial, I am going to discuss and show you how we parameterize the uh, Playwright uh, JavaScript test. So what is the parameterization and why we need to parameterize? Basically, sometime we need to run one test with multiple set of data. This concept is also known as the data driven testing. Running single test with multiple set of data known as the data driven testing. And uh, if you want to achieve the data driven testing in the playwright, then we need to parameterize. We need to run single test with a loop with multiple data. Here, uh, here one application, right? There is a form where we need to uh, enter some username, password, and click on submit. So this is basically a registration form. Uh, we can uh, run this. Uh, we can submit this with multiple set of data, right? So similar type in your application, sometimes you will get where you need to perform the data driven testing, like uh, submitting the uh, running one single test with multiple set of data. Okay, so as of now, I created one test, right, uh, which will navigate the URL, verify the title, and here it click on the add button, then it enter first name, last name, email ID, age, salary, department, and click on submit button. Basically, this uh, small steps I am going to uh, uh, I added here. I am going to show how we run these with multiple set of data. So as of now, you can see I passed here only one test, uh, one set of data. So every time if I run, it will uh, use the first name, last name, what I am providing here the data. So let's see and run one time. Okay, so you can see it's run successfully. It submitted the data, but now suppose that if we want to run this test with a different set of data. So in that case, either we need to go and update all these data from here, right? And run the test, right? So every time we need to update the data and run the test. And if we future, if we want to suppose that run this test with 10 set of data, then in that case, every time we need to go and update the data and then run the test. So this is manual. Uh, activities we need to do here while the, uh, running this test with multiple set of data. But if we go with the data driven approach, uh, Playwright will also provide some looping concept using that we can submit the data. Let's see how we do that. So let's see how we do that. So first I'm going to create a uh, variable uh, constant data. And this is suppose that user users data. So basically here, if I'm going to create a user's data, then it this will be a set of array of array, right? One data is one array, like here, uh, created one bracket. So let me add here some dummy data. First, first name, first, right? Then here we need to give the second, means last name giving the data last one and then uh, email address uh, email address so email address i can pass here a test one and then next we need to pass age suppose that age i am passing 25 and then he need to pass your salary salary i can pass this one and then department Okay, so now here I use the one set of data. So this data I'm going to parameterize. So basically what we can do, we can wrap up this in a loop. So we can use here a the loop. For loop we can use as well as the for each loop I can use. So dot for each. Data. this one so all the code we can move under this loop so i am going to just close here the loop now our test is available under the loop so this data basically holds the uh, one set of data when we run it will run for each uh, array so this is basically two dimensional array right uh, so this if is it will array of array. the first data then it is array so we can use this data right 
and here if I use the data 0 it will give us the first value if I pass here the data second index like 1 so it will give us the last name here similar type we can change this uh, this to so it will give us the email address then next we can pass here 3 it will give us the age fourth index give us the salary fifth index give us the department okay so now you can see data is stored here in a array and when we run this test it will fill the data by fetching the uh, by getting the data from the array list so let me run and you will see it will work with this data you can see data fill it's run so fast let me add here the breakpoint and run in debug mode so that uh, it is stop and i can show you so if i go in the form you can see data is filled if I press step over, then it will submit and it will close the browser. Okay, so now in the next uh, test, uh, next, how we add more data. So this is first test set of data. Now I'm going to use the second set of data. So let me show you. So this is the second array. For second data so we can also add here third data okay so this is suppose that uh, first second set of data username first two and this is last two last name email address age 27 and this is the salary and this is the suppose that it department user third last third email test 3 at the rate test.com age suppose that i am going to put here 30 salary i am giving different and this is bd business developer okay so now if i run the test so this test will run three times with each three set of data okay so one uh, issue i will see here no, when i run let's see so i am clicking here to run the test okay so you can see here we are getting duplicate test titles are not allowed why we are getting because in the when we are running this in three set of data so for each set of data its title is same right so now we need to make this dynamic also so otherwise our test will fail so how we do that so let's add here variable so like suppose that i am going to use only one value data zero so it will give us the first name so now every time when we run the test our te uh, test will change right first time title is create user first one then second time create user first two then create user first three so uh, every time it will change now let me run first test executed now running for second test Now third test. So you can see it's executed three times with each set of data. And in the left side, you can see data driven test executed first, create first one, create second, create user first three. So three times executed with all three set of data. So now by using this approach, uh, we can perform the data driven testing means we can run one single test with multiple set of data.
hope this will be helpful how we perform the data driven concept and if you like the tutorial click on the like button subscribe the channel and click on the bell icon so that you can get latest videos notification also share this tutorial to your friends and colleagues and add a comment if you have any query okay thanks for watching the video